G'day fellow mapping fans. In this tutorial, we're going to start putting the settlements onto our map. And um, in all honesty, this is actually one of the easiest tasks to do with mapping. But you do need to think, and I keep on going on about this, you need to think about where are the settlements? Why are they where they are? What sort of settlements would they be? And that helps you with your world building. But the actual process of putting uh, settlements down on the map is, is incredibly easy. Let me show you. You simply select the settlements catalog here and you get to see that you've got lots of different settlements. Now, campaign cartographer uh, symbol sets usually come with a couple of different levels of civilization. You've got cities, you've got towns, and you've got villages, and then occasionally you've got individual houses. I normally start my maps by putting down the cities first because settlements usually congregate around cities and then they appear to sort of spiral out. They get further and further out, they get smaller and smaller. So let's think about the sort of cities that we want. The, the, uh, the default catalog for campaign cartographer comes with a, a wide selection of different types of cities. And I am for this map going to choose a more Asian looking um, symbol set. And the reason for that is pretty obvious. You can see what I'm going for with this map. I'm going for sort of oriental adventures uh, with a strong pirate theme in behind it. So I think this would be perfect. Um, I'm going to start with a walled city. Now the walled city would almost always be the biggest, most powerful city in the area. Bear in mind that this map is actually quite large. Um, it's, it's uh, I haven't put a scale on it yet, but when we loaded it up, it was a thousand by 800, I believe. So um, we've got a lot of room for many different cities here. So there'll be more than one world city. I'm going to drill down onto my map, coming closer. I clearly think that a walled city should be put somewhere in here. Let me just um, select that again. There we go. Now, I think also the symbol set for putting down these cities is a little large for this map. So I'm going to right click and I'm just going to reduce it slightly. And the reason for that is I want to have more civilizations here. So I've just reduced it to 0.8, so it's slightly smaller. Um, I'm going to place it just here by the intersection of those rivers by the coast. I'm going to place another large walled city there. There we go. So we now have two walled cities. I'm going to create some smaller cities around these. Definitely there'd be a city in, in this area. There's a big farmland space there. And I might put another city up along this coastline. Now notice I am having a preference for putting my cities on this map near my coastlines. And that's pretty obvious. They've got water sources coming in. So they've got fresh water. They've got farmlands around them or forestation at the very least. And they've got the ability to get out and do fishing and exploration into the ocean. So cities don't always appear by the coastlands, but there is a tendency for them to be placed there. Um, I'm just going to zoom out my map a little bit now. Okay, I think maybe um, I'm not sure about putting a city down here. I might actually bring it um, to near the delta because there'd be great farmlands up there. And this would be a good example of a city which does not sit on the coastline. It's sitting in and amongst this very fertile area up here. Um, I will place a city up in here as well on that side of the map. Right, there are our cities. Now let's start putting our towns down. So uh, the towns uh, usually are supportive of the city, often agricultural or manufacturing and base. So I might put a city there, uh, sorry, a, a town there, I might put one there. I'm gonna put one up here by the coast. No, maybe not. I might put in a walled village up in here. Got a better place for that one. I reckon there'll be all sorts of weird monsters coming in from across that sea line there because we've got lots of jungle over there. Uh, and now we can start putting in our little hamlets. And these are the villages, small villages. I might put in a church. I like to sometimes put elements like that up on mountains. But for this case, I'm going to bring this one in and here. So you can see all that we're really doing is just fleshing out the map. Monastery. Oh, I'm going to put a monastery on one of the islands. 
mystical monastery island. Uh, we could put some towers in there as well and so forth. So you can see adding civilizations, adding the towns to your to your map is incredibly easy. But there is one very special thing I want to do. And remember, I said I wanted to have a pirate encampment. I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to make it a completely different style. I'm going to make it more European in appearance. There we go. And much more rustic. So it's going to go smack in there. Now, if I refresh, you'll see that it's now sitting over the top of the mountain, which is not what I want. So I can type in the word back, select the symbol I want to move back and click do it. And now the mountain sits over the top of that village because I've used the back command to push that village to the back of the map. That's a great little tool um, that you can use when laying down sort of villages in between the mountains where you want them to fit nicely. I may also put a broken settlement in and here. This was a previous pirate encampment that has been taken out of action. There's also this wonderful mountain with a spiral pattern going up it. So I'm going to put on top of that uh, a tower. There we go. In fact, I wonder if I've got a light tower there. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. And I'm just going to bring it down the mountain slightly. Excellent. So now we've got a watchtower across there. The secret to laying down a civilization that starts to feel real is think about where the major cities will go and start with them. Then start putting down your lesser cities, then go to your towns and finally to your villages. And then finally, your additional little things like churches and towers and so forth, flesh it out. Okay, so what I want you to do now is go back to your map, figure out what sort of structures will be on your map, lay them down, have a little bit of fun, try putting a, a tower on top of a mountain, uh, but also try putting a village so that it just pokes out from behind a mountain using that back command. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers, guys.